Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share the box plot and how to determine its components by using Excel function. In order to create a box plot with flexible range, let's convert the data into a table form. Firstly, select any cell, press on Ctrl A, followed by Ctrl T. Check my table has headers. If they are, click on OK. If you wish to change the name of this table, Go to the Formulas tab and click on Name Manager. Select the table and click on Edit. Change the name here and click on OK. And we can now close it and go to the Insert tab. Look for Statistic Chart and Insert Box and Physical Plot. Resize the chart and change the chart title if needed. If you wish to change the color of the box, click on the box and go to the Format tab. In the Shape Styles, change the shape field to the desired color. We could also set it No Field. Next, let's press on Ctrl 1. If you do not wish to show the mean markle, uncheck Show Mean Markles. Next, pick the desired type for the quartile calculation. Besides, if you wish to increase the width of the box, let's decrease the gap width. On the other hand, if you wish to show data labels, click on the plus button, check data labels. We could also click on the arrow button to select the desired position. We could also click on more data label options and change the number format. For example, under the category, instead of having general, let's change to number with two decimal places. Besides, if you wish to change a starting point for the Y asset, let's click on the Y asset label, change the minimum value to the desired value, for example 20, and press on enter. Similarly, we could also change the maximum value, for example 120, and press enter. Next, I'm going to share how to obtain all these components by using the Excel functions. I'm going to ignore all the outlier first and start with the lower bound, or also known as the lower extreme. As we all know, this lower bound is determined by using the lower inner fence, which is affected by the lower quartile or also known as the first quartile and the upper quartile. So let's determine first. When we determine the quartiles, at the same time, we could also determine the median. Let's use the quartile function. Select the desired type, either exclusive or inclusive type. In this video, I'm going to use exclusive type. Firstly, we need a which is the weight. However, as we can see, there are two sets of data. One is for the males and the other for the females, which means that we have to apply the filter function. Select the array, that is the weight. Since this is a form of table, instead of selecting the cell, we can call the table by using its name, that is data. Make a square bracket and select the data weight and end with a square bracket. Instead of retyping the formula for the meal that we are going to calculate later we can set absolute reference for this data range. In order to make absolute reference for table column, before this weight column, add another set of square bracket. Copy the weight column, then make a column to indicate the range and paste the weight column. This is to tell Excel the range is from weight up to weight. So this should be fixed. Don't forget to end with a square bracket. Then make a comma to write the condition for the detail where we wish to include. So we have to refer to the gentle. Also call the table by using the name data. Make a square bracket for two times since we wish to fit this column as well. But this time we should refer to gentle. Close square bracket and make a column to indicate the range. Repeat exactly the same step. That is, we need a square bracket for gentle again. Close square bracket for two times. And the columns is now fixed. Let's set the condition that is equal to the gentle here. Since the gentle, either female or male, is fixed 
at the first row. So let's fix the first row by using the function key F4. Press until we only notice a dollar sign in front of the number 1, but not E. Close bracket to end the filter function, and now make a comma to determine the type of calculation. Since I'm going to determine the first, second, and the third quartiles at the same time, instead of typing the value one by one, we can make use of the sequence functions bracket type 3 in order to generate 1, 2, 3, 4, lower, median, and upper quartile respectively. Close bracket to end the sequence function, close bracket to end the quartile function. Press enter and we should obtain the statistics, which is exactly the same as displayed here. With the values that we obtain, we can now calculate the lower extreme. I'm going to make use the formula that I just typed. Only copy the filter function. Press the escape button to exit the edit mode. Back to the cell, type equal and paste the formula. This time, instead of considering all the values for the female, we should also consider the value that is within the lower in the fence since there might be an outlier. This outlier is below the lower in the fence, which means that we should consider the value that is greater than the lower in the fence. So let's make a bracket and move to the end. Use the end operator that is asterisk or the symbol for multiplication bracket followed by the second condition that is the fade value value, copy and paste it here, that is greater than the lower in the fence. Recall the formula of lower in the fence, which is equal to the lower quartile minus 1.5 times of the upper quartile minus the lower quartiles, that is the inner quartile range. Don't forget to fix the cell. We should fix for the rows. That is, the dollar sign should only in front of the number. Repeat exactly the same for the rest of the cells. Then move to the end and close bracket to end this condition. Close bracket again to end the filter function. Do not end this formula yet. Recall that this formula is going to return the values that is greater than the lower in the fence for the female. However, we should only show the first value which is greater than the lower in the fence. In other words, we should include the minimum value for this case. Use the minimum function, move to the end and close bracket to end the function. And now we can press enter to end this calculation. And we should obtain the correct value as we can see here. And now we should proceed to the upper bound or also known as the upper extreme. Instead of retyping the formula, I'm going to copy this cell and paste it here. Next, press the function key F2 to edit the formula. This time, we should have the value value that is less than the upper inner fence, which is the upper quartile E5 plus 1.5 times of the interquartile range. And this time, we should take the last value that is less than the upper inner fan, which means that we should use the max function for this case. Press enter and we should obtain the correct upper bound. And we can now write the formula to determine the outlier, which is either more than the upper extreme or less than the lower extreme. So let's copy the formula and paste it here. Again, press the function key F2 to edit the formula. Instead of having the max function, we should return all the values that fulfill the condition in order to be the outliers. We want the value that is greater than the upper inner fence or less than the lower inner fence. Instead of typing again, I'm going to copy this. Refer to the color of the bracket. Start with the red bracket. We should end with the red bracket. Copy and now make a plus sign to indicate or operator, paste it, and we should have the value that is less than the lower inner fence. Change the formula for the lower inner fence, which is E3, 
and we have minus. Don't forget the values that is less than the lower in the fence must also from the same gender. So which means that we should make a bracket to group the two sets of values before checking the gender. Now move to the end and close bracket. Press enter and we should end the calculation. According to the calculation, we have three outliers here, which is agree with the box plot that we plot. If you wish to arrange the outliers according to ascending order, in front of the filter function, use the short function bracket, move to the end and close bracket. Press enter and we should have the outliers in ascending order. And now let's select the native cells for the male and press control R. And we should obtain all the needed calculations as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.